Wow, wow, wow. When you send this, you're not in that danger of Trump. <laughs> but he is 100% correct. But he is 100% correct. In modern American history. Yes, Donald Trump is a pathological liar. He's a racist, sexist. Let me be very clear. The next several months will be the most important in modern American history. Yes, Donald Trump is a pathological liar. He's a racist, a sexist, a xenophobe, a homophobe, and a religious bigot. Yup, Donald Trump has denied the election defeat that he experienced and is undermining American democracy every day, peddling conspiracy theories and converting the Republican Party into a cult of the individual. Yep, Donald Trump has contempt for a free media and has encouraged violence and the never before seen use of the military and federal agents against US citizens. But if you believe Donald Trump's first term was dangerous, I want you to think for a moment about what a second term would look like. If Donald Trump is elected this November, the fight against climate change is over, period. It's the end, and the people of this planet will have lost. Not only does Donald Trump believe climate change is a hoax, but he has and will once again appoint agency leaders and judges who will undermine our ability to move toward energy efficiency and sustainable energy. And if the United States retreats from the fight against climate change, countries like China, India, and the rest of the world will follow. That would have irreversible implications for the future habitability of our planet, for our kids, our grandchildren, and for future generations. If Trump is elected in November, the already obscene levels that we are now experiencing of income and wealth inequality will only get worse. In his first administration, Trump signed tax cuts into law where 83% of the benefits went to the top 1%, while at the same time he raised taxes for middle class families. During this current campaign, Trump has promised to extend those tax cuts for the rich and to lower the corporate tax rate for companies that are making record-breaking profits. If Donald Trump is elected again in November, we can expect him and the Republican Party to escalate the attacks on women's reproductive health in this country. No. It was not enough for Trump to brag about appointing justices who overturn Roe v. Wade in this country. He and many other Republicans want to go further. They want a federal abortion ban. And that's what they will strive for if he is elected this November. If Donald Trump is elected again, it is likely, and I say this with a heavy heart, but it is likely that the almost 250 year experiment of American democracy is all but over. It goes without saying that Trump tried to overturn the results of the last presidential election, but his attack on democracy goes far deeper than the violence of January 6, 2021. If Trump wins, you can expect more extreme gerrymandering, more election workers being harassed and threatened, more young people and people of color being denied their right to participate in elections. It does not end there. If Donald Trump is elected, he will once again attempt to overturn the Affordable Care Act and throw some 32 million Americans off of the health care that they currently have. If Trump is elected, he will take gigantic leaps backward on issues of education, gun control, 
criminal justice reform, and immigration. And if Trump is elected again, it would strengthen the hands of authoritarian leaders all over the world. Leaders like Orban in Hungary, Putin in Russia, and many other countries such as Saudi Arabia, the Philippines, and elsewhere all over the world. Demagogues and authoritarian leaders would rejoice if Trump gets elected. So, my friends, that is what is, is at stake this November. Hey, hello friends, we come to the end of the episode. Yes, press the subscribe button and the like button and the share button. Thank you and have a nice day.